Hello, everybody. Welcome back to SnowRunner once again. Checking out two mods today. We've got the 1983 Ford Bronco, and we're going to be checking out Canadian Runner, which is a map mod, and I'll show you how it works. Basically, with the uh, IO uh, website that you go to get all these, you know, to subscribe to the mods, they show up in here. You can turn them on and off. Now, to get the map mod working, I'll show you what we have to do. You have to go into New Game, Custom Scenarios, then you can select the town there. Uh, and once you load into it, you have to leave, come back to the main menu, then go back into it and you have your mod tools so you can spawn trucks in and all that stuff. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. Um, the reason why I have a bunch of money and I'm a level one is because we're on this uh, setup right now. So I'm going to go to load game. There's my normal game there. We're going to do Canadian Runner 01 The Town. All right, we have loaded in here. We have the, uh, the good old con, uh, the marshal. We're not going to be driving it. Instead, we're going to go to... Uh, create and then we have the Ford Bronco right here I'm gonna add it into the map hit done uh, now we can go ahead and uh, change to that truck and check this thing out I like the color on it uh, by default and it, it loads in with blue and then I can't really change it after that but let's go ahead and fire this thing up yes Ford Bronco baby how about that and we have those terrible you know highway tires uh, that all the vehicles come with by default. All right, going to stop it right there, and we're going to do some modifications to it. Before we do that, check out this map. This is the Canadian runner map, and we have a lot of stuff to explore, especially up here. I want to go up there real bad. It's a pretty big map, and it's very nice. Uh, I do like it. Um, I haven't uh, haven't traveled very far on it yet. I restarted the map. Uh, I think I only got like maybe over here to this little town, um, but haven't seen anything else yet. All right, let's check out this Ford Bronco. It looks like there's like a tornado forming back there. You see that? Like clearly there's rotation happening. Not sure what that's all about. Let's go ahead and click on garage. And here is all of our modifications we have. Uh, a default bumper. We have a couple options with the bumper here, as you can see. Very cool. I do like this mod a lot. Diff lock is on. Rear bumper, only one of those. Uh, you have a rooftop trunk kit you can throw on top there. Uh, that, and you have options for snorkels. Uh, and then you have your spotlight options here for off-road. Uh, and then this, the side runners. I do like those side runners. Those are really cool. And in fact, we're going to install those. Uh, and we have the visor too. Uh, then we can put, you know, a trailer if we wanted to. Not worried about that. We've got a default a highway or off-road. We're going to go off-road gearbox. Uh, we're going to go to engine two, obviously. Uh, winch upgrades will go external power or offline. Actually, I like, I like the uh, autonomous one. Uh, and then customization here. This is where you change out um, the... Uh, actual livery here and that looks really cool I do like that one a lot um, then you have this one <laughs> very nice uh, then a red one and then just wine red uh, is your other option there and I, I think I'm actually gonna take off that visor because I want to have a wine red truck here uh, so suspension we can have high or ultimate we're gonna go with ultimate on that and changing tires out it does have some cool uh, rims on the all terrains there, and then we have a few mud tire options. Um, I really like those, those look amazing. Uh, even those look really good too, I must say. Then we have you know the highway nonsense, we've seen those before. All terrains, we're gonna go ahead and just roll with these mud tires here. I like those a lot, those look cool. Coming back to it, I think we're gonna put some uh, spotlights up there, I think that'll look really cool. So, we're gonna install those. All right, let's go ahead and release the handbrake and uh, go explore some Canada shall we happy sunday to all of you i hope you had a good weekend uh and you're ready for monday because man it is almost here check out the interior of this thing how cool is this uh keep in mind you know it's a modded truck so we have things like uh the speedometer's not working and all that uh which is fine but i mean wow looks really well done really really well done more than i would have uh, expected honestly um, apart from that, ooh, look at this. We've already come across a creek. And we're going to go ahead and cross it here and put it into low and then diff lock on. Let's see how well she handles this. Dangerous water levels. Yeah, we know. We know. Dangerous water levels. Uh, turn the lights on. Look at that. That looks so good. I'm a huge, huge fan of this body style of the Ford Bronco. Always have been. Okay, back to automatic. That's all we needed. Let's make a left here. I want to go down this road and see what it's all about. 
Okay, so it, it's so... Oh, she slides around quite a bit. Quite a bit. Even with all-wheel drive, you know, engaged all times. That does not matter. In fact, let's turn... Oh, always on. I can't turn it off, though. Um, I wanted to see how crazy it would actually behave. But actually, and not too bad at all, really. I'm liking it. It's it's fun to drive. It's a fun truck to drive. All right, what do we got up here? We got some uh, a logging station here on the right. It looks like, yeah, yeah. The steering on it is slow. It kind of reminds me of like the, uh, the Freightliner. How slow that steering is. Oh, we got a vehicle over here. What's that? Got a couple vehicles over here. I mean, you can't change into them, obviously. That's a Durango over there. Yep. Definitely an older Durango. That looks like some sort of a, I don't know, like a Chevy Cavalier or something. But that's what it's trying to be. Or it might be uh, a knockoff Crown Vic. Let's go see the back of it. Yep, it is a knockoff Crown Vic. So there you go. Got a Crown Vic between two uh, Durangos, it looks like. I remember when those Durangos came out. All right, let's go this way. And uh, we'll check our map here and see where we're at. Okay, we're here, so I really want to go up here and check this out. So let's go through the swamp and uh, check out that cliff right there. That looks so good. Oh, oh, yeah. Is that what I think it is? Yeah, it is. See that log out there in the distance? It's like a bridge, like a log bridge or something. This is a really neat map. Well done. It's unique. Got the Lincoln Logs. Go through all these Lincoln Logs here. Yeah, if we had a, you know, lower suspension, we'd be absolutely destroyed. Dangerous water level, we know. Oh, I love the look of this Bronco, though, man. I would own that in real life. That is beautiful. And I love the blacked out wheels. Now, you know, me, if you know me well enough, you would know that I would have it matte black. Matte black and then blacked out wheels on it. That would be ideal. I love the look of black on black. Okay. I think the road is coming up here on the right. And look at that. If you notice, there is a little Ford Bronco emblem on the back tire. The spare tire. There it is right there. You can see it easily uh, in the sunlight. That's awesome. It's very nice indeed. So let's talk about some things, shall we? Um, I think that has been long enough time, you know, um, and I'm, I'm really missing uh, doing police RP stuff. So I plan to uh, get LSPDFR installed and, and try to get it working again. Uh, and then, you know, make some uh, LSPDFR episodes. I do miss doing it. Um, I don't think, I think a lot of people really didn't understand the reason why I stopped. Uh, I, you know, explained it many times, but it was it was a respect thing. It wasn't because I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that because of all the stuff going on in the world. I mean, yeah, but that was not the case. The case was I legitimately wanted to do it out of respect. And I think that it's, uh, it's been long enough for sure. I feel comfortable coming back to it. Where are we at? I'm just jibba-jabbering. We missed our turn like a dum-dum. Oh, we missed the turn. Okay, well, we'll go back and get it. Uh, there's a vehicle over here. What is that? Oh, well, I'll be damned. Look at that. Well, very cool. Didn't even know that was here. All right, well, we're gonna turn around and now we're gonna go back and get on that road to go up that mountain. That's what I wanna do. Well, if you're wondering, the uh, engine sound, uh, to me, it sounds a lot like the defaults. GMC. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. All right. Yep. Left here and then another left. Uh, yeah, we completely passed that road like a dumb dumb. Oh, hello. Whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to roll over, but it didn't. These rocks are a little bit uh, crazier than I thought they would be. Here's our road right here. But yeah, it's using the sound of the uh, GMC and uh, it definitely has the same horn. As you can hear there, Meep. we're not even using diff lock and we're climbing this. No problem. That was kind of strange. It was like, oh, whoa, 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 fish tails. All right. Yeah, this thing is sliding 
very slidey. All right. all right, let's all recoup here and we'll be fine. Oh, here it is. Here's that bridge I was talking about. Well, not the one I was talking about because that's up there. You see those logs. I think it's going to be a technical bridge we have to cross. When we get there, we will. Until then, I guess we could turn off our uh, our lights. It is the, in the middle of the day. It's very nice out. It's a really cool bottom. Okay, okay, camera. Screwing me up a little bit there. We went under that bridge. Did not like it. Look at this. Oh, same thing. It's got that issue of, uh, yeah, the bridge popping up and changing the view, which, okay, enough is enough of that. All right. There's a weather station up here. It's a fun road, man. I do like this a lot. Bravo, bravo. We have another rickety bridge here. Get across that, no problem. Oh, and now it gets more difficult. Now it definitely gets more difficult. So I got um, I got that in the uh, the pipe. So I know. And one of the biggest things that I really wanted to check out was right before um, my LSPD far insulation stopped working, and I was like, okay, can't win today with that. Uh, they had just released those fire callouts, and I really wanted to do some of those. So I have some options. I have some ideas. But getting back into uh, to that stuff, I know a lot of you guys love the series um, and have been asking about it. So there is the answer. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, this looks frightening. Wow. Yeah, no room for error really here. You can fall right down through the damn thing. Ooh, careful, careful. Careful, careful, careful. Look at that. Okay, I think we're good right now. We'll just keep it between the lines. I'm going to have to do it all the way on the left side, too. Whoa. Yeah, those change directions on us there. Oh, what are we hitting? Oh, it's just a... It's going to crawl over this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, breaks. There you go, buddy. All right, this one doesn't look so bad. It's got to go super slow with it. Oh, I don't know how we're going to transition this. Nice and easy. Oh, hello. Hit the brakes. There we go. Oh, this one doesn't have a huge gap on it. No, it does. It still has a gap. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, we're fine. Keep it straight right here. Wow, <laughs> this is cool. Very nice indeed. All right, we're kind of straight here looking good. Wonderful. Wow. All right. Let me put it back into auto. Just splashing through the mud and the muck. This looks deep. It is deep. Dangerous water levels. It's very deep. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. By the way, this thing has just been eating. Uh, well, it doesn't eat fuel per se, but I mean, it has a tiny, tiny gas tank in it, which it's realistic. I mean, come on, 15 gallons is a realistic tank for this. Just, we can always refuel if we want to and repair. There are options in the, uh, the mod menu there. Oh, that looks cool. This truck looks amazing, man. I like it. All right, let's go slow here. Um, let's do some low and diff. I want to see how this thing behaves on rocks. And we're going to go off to the left. We won't be able to climb that. No way. We're definitely going to go this way. All right. Diff lock, do your thing. Come on. Uh, we need a better, yeah, we need a better angle. So we're going to have to get this at an angle for sure to climb it. There we go. Think about here, perhaps. Oh, doesn't really want to do it, does it? Nope. Okay. Well, we're going to try on the right then. When in doubt, just uh, winch the thing from the rear. 
If, and we're in reverse. It seems to be working <laughs> to this tree right here. There we go. Awesome. Wow. Oh, back it up more. There you go. Now let's get out of this mess without falling down the side of the mountain. Oh, careful. Don't you lose it. Oh man, this is tough. Let's try another winch here. Get further up the road. There you go. Just take out the pine trees. Why not? Beautiful. All right. Well, we're almost out of fuel. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, grab the gas can out of the back and uh, we'll take care of that and we'll repair our uh, tail light too. I think we're going to throw the all terrain tires on this thing too and see if uh, that makes a difference. Hopefully it will. All right. Let's see if this thing will uh, be able to handle the rocks better because those mud tires, man, it just was spinning for days. Great in the mud, but not on rock. And clearly we are in a zone of rock here. Uh, we're going to go to the right. Where does that take us? We make a right. It goes up and around. It's a watchtower up there. And then we go back down to the city. That's cool. Let's do it. All right. First attempt here to climb this hill using the all terrains. And we're already hitting some rocks along the way, but it seems to be doing okay for the most part. Just very slow. Let's put it in auto. See if that makes a difference. Um, yeah. It's actually kind of helping out a little bit there, but let's go back into this, turn the diff on. Um, ooh, it just, yeah, it doesn't want to go anywhere. It just doesn't have enough power. All right, so, uh, so auto seems to be doing a much better job than the low gears. Still sliding all over the place on these rocks, man. It could be a combination of this Bronco and the tires, but I don't know about that. At least we got up it, no problem. There's the watchtower right there. Now, this is has nothing to do with the uh, phase, you know, two of uh, the SnowRunner DLC, obviously. Just a mod. I'm sure we'll get some questions about it, though. But it's just a mod. Oh, that was a sweet power slide. Around that corner. Oh, look at the guy's shadow. That looks cool. The sun behind him. Yeesh. All right, off to the right. Another thing I've been uh, thinking about doing, and uh, let me know if you would like to see it. I want to check out the um, AI racing and iRacing. Uh, the oval racing in general. You can download the car set for uh, the current NASCAR season. And I think it'd be fun. It'd be cool. All right, brakes, 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 brakes. And I also want to get into doing the F1 2020 career mode. See if that's a uh, thing that people want to see. Yeah, these, look at these. Those are fast moving clouds, man. Earlier, it looked like rotation. I know it wasn't, but still pretty cool. All right, to the left. This road is uh, seeming to be pretty easy for us here. So that's not been bad, but maybe, you know, having those all terrains really made the dis difference there. Ooh, got a little light. Got a little light there. So we're going to be checking out this, uh, this map for the next couple episodes. Got some other mods to check out. There's a Dodge Ram, like a first gen. Dodge Ram uh, and some other ones that have been coming out. So mods have been just flying out left and right. And we're going to check them all out see what it's all about. And that's what we're going to do. Get to the bottom of this mountain here. There you go. Put her back. Oh, man. Look at the hill on here. But the auto is just doing it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we found its match. Okay. Well, that's going to be interesting. Well, the speaker's back there. It's cool. All right, let's go ahead and uh, we'll put it into low, low. We're going to crawl this thing. Diff lock on. Here we go. Let's see if this thing will crawl up this hill. Should. It's doing some weird stuff. When, when the truck gets to a certain angle, it just does not get grip at all, which is weird. Oh, here we go. No, it's moving a little bit. All right, this is proving difficult because I can't get 
all the way up here. Oh, oh, oh. I think we did it. I think we did it. All right. I was like, I couldn't get to the side winch. I wanted to get the side winch on that. And that would have pulled us up a lot easier than that. Oh, look at these rocks. Bricks. Oh, it's a, it's a huge rock field. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Got a couple bridges here. We're driving to the night. All right. Get over these boulders. Oh, we made ourselves uh, useful and got back to the main road. So on the map, let's see where we're at here. We've discovered that so far. There's a lot here. This map is pretty big. I right, get a pretty big one. But I'm going to leave things here, folks. Uh, this will do it for this episode of SnowRunner. Let me know what mods you would like to see in the comments below. And I will see you all next time. Take care.